Hey Giants Nation, thanks for clicking on that video. Uh, first off, I'd like to thank everybody over the past 30 days, over the weekend, who has subscribed to the channel. Um, in 30 days, we have got 36 subscribers. That's fantastic. And over the weekend, we added 8. We were at 28 on Friday. We are now at 36. So I really appreciate everybody who subscribed. Uh, I'm going to continue to put content out every day. If it's a slow day, if it's a fast day, we're going to have content out. Something will be out. So keep subscribing, keep liking the videos, keep commenting. I really appreciate it. The meat of the video is that you probably heard by now. If not, I'm going to tell you. Rhett Ellison has retired. Um, it was speculated last week. I put a video out last week on the speculation that he was going to retire. He suffered a concussion in the Jet game, and he never returned. He never saw the field again, and he won't be back on the field. Um, bottom line is health is the main concern. You want to have a good health for yourself, obviously, um, but for your family, for your future life, whatever you're going to, if he's going to be an analyst, or whatever else he's going to do in life, he needs to be healthy. And being on the football field, he's not going to stay healthy if he keeps getting concussions. Uh, he was a very good giant. He um, started off on the Vikings, and he followed Shermer over. He's been with the Giants for three years. So... It's very. It, it, he was a good giant. It does put a little question at tight end. Uh, Evan Engram already was a question mark because he can never stay healthy. But could they pursue a Hunter Henry who is kind of iffy as well on the injury part? Um, Austin Hooper, I think you probably want too many. Are, will they go in the draft, fourth or fifth round? You just don't know. Now, what this means for the salary cap, uh, yesterday when I checked Sport Track, they were at $73 million. They have already taken out, taken Ellison off. We are now at 77,802, 77,802,000. Um, so that's about five, four or five million. And then if they cut Bethea, Bethea will be two and a half million. So they'll be just under or right at 80 million, which is really good. They need to get as much salary cap as they can for this free agency, which starts next Monday, the legal tampering period. It starts on the 16th. And the new NFL se uh, season, uh, the new NFL year begins the 18th. So there's still CBA that needs to be approved and whatnot. So, again, it frees up some cap space, which is good. I don't know why... Um, he had a 1.25 million, oh, because of this, his signing bonus. So he gets a signing bonus. I thought maybe on re retiring that would be null and void, but I guess he gets that signing bonus. So that's just the, uh, the news out of Giants camp today. Can't talk. Um, let me know what you think below down in the comments. Give me a like, and again, subscribe. I appreciate everybody who's been subscribing. I really appreciate it. It gives me something to do every day. Thanks, Giants Nation.